Welcome to the Bible Quiz. Today, get ready for an exciting biblical journey. We've curated 25 questions to challenge your knowledge of the Holy Bible about special Jesus Christ. Are you ready to prove just how well you know the scriptures? But wait a moment. Before we delve into the quiz, don't forget hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Your support aids us in spreading the teachings of God. Once you're done with the quiz, don't forget leave a comment below sharing how many questions you got right. We're eager to engage with you and be part of your Bible exploration. So, are you ready to dive into this enlightening adventure? Let's get started. Question 1. What title did they give Jesus in Greek, Roman, and Hebrew letters? A. King of the Jews B. King of Kings C. Son of God D. Great Prophet You get 10 seconds. That's A, King of the Jews, Luke chapter 23, verse 38. That inscription was placed above Jesus on the cross to indicate his identity and the charge against him. It was written in multiple languages to ensure that people of different backgrounds could understand it. Question 2. What is the name given to Jesus which translated is God with us? A. Emmanuel B. Gabriel C. Miguel D. Jehovah You get 10 seconds. That's A. Emmanuel Matthew chapter 1 verse 23 this name holds significant meaning as it emphasizes the divine nature of Jesus and his purpose to be with humanity. The name Emmanuel is a fulfillment of the prophecy in Isaiah 7:14, which foretold the birth of a child who would be called Emmanuel, signifying God's presence among his people. Question 3. What is the name of the blind man Jesus healed in Jericho? A. Simon B. Bartimaeus C. Zechariah D. Timaeus You get 10 seconds. That's B. Bartimaeus Mark chapter 10 verses 46 to 52 the name Bartimaeus means son of Timaeus. When he heard that Jesus was passing by, Bartimaeus called out to him for mercy and healing. Jesus responded to his faith and compassionately restored his sight, demonstrating his power and willingness to heal those who seek him. Question 4. Who betrayed Jesus with a kiss in the Garden of Gethsemane? A. Peter B. James C. John D. Judas Iscariot You get 10 seconds. That's D. Judas Iscariot Mark chapter 14 verses 43 to 46 and Luke chapter 22 verses 47 to 48. This kiss serves as a signal to arrest Jesus, and the use of a kiss, a symbol of intimacy, added a poignant layer to the betrayal, fulfilling prophecies and shaping the narrative of Jesus' sacrifice and redemption. Question 5. What did Jesus do with the apostles after giving them instructions during the 40 days? A. Sent them to preach immediately. B. Ascended to heaven in their presence. C. Commissioned them to baptize. 
D. Gathered them for a final meal. You get 10 seconds. That's B. Ascended to heaven in their presence. Acts chapter 1 verses 9 to 11. The account describes a cloud taking him out of their sight. And as the disciples were gazing upward, two angels appear and assure them that Jesus will return in the same way they saw him go. This moment, known as the Ascension, marks the conclusion of Jesus' earthly presence and the beginning of the Apostles' mission to spread the gospel empowered by the Holy Spirit. Question 6. How many days was Jesus with his disciples after his resurrection? A. Seven days. B. Twelve days. C. Twenty-four days. D. Forty days. You get 10 seconds. That's D, 40 days. Acts chapter one, verses one to three. During these 40 days, Jesus provided further teachings about the kingdom of God reinforcing the significance of his resurrection. Question 7. In which parable did Jesus say there will be joy in heaven over a repentant sinner? A. Prodigal son. B. Ten virgins. C. Lost sheep. D. Unfaithful servant. You get 10 seconds. That's C, lost sheep. Luke chapter 15, verse 7. The context is the lost sheep parable, where a shepherd leaves the 99 sheep to search for the one that went astray. When he finds it, he joyfully brings it home, and Jesus uses this illustration to convey the immense joy in heaven when a single sinner repents and turns back to God. The verse highlights God's love, grace, and the celebration that accompanies genuine repentance. Question 8. In what form of bird did the Holy Spirit descend on Jesus after baptism? A. Crow B. Dove C. Eagle D. Macaw You get 10 seconds. That's B, dove. Matthew chapter 3, verse 16. The dove is a symbol of purity, peace, and the presence of the Holy Spirit. This event marks the beginning of Jesus' public ministry and symbolizes the anointing and empowerment by the Holy Spirit for his mission on earth. Question 9. How many disciples did Jesus appear to on the road to Emmaus? A, 11 disciples. B, seven disciples c five disciples d two disciples you get 10 seconds that's d two disciples luke chapter 24 Verses 13 to 15. Two disciples were walking to Emmaus. They encountered Jesus, but they didn't recognize him. This sets the stage for a significant encounter where Jesus explains the scriptures to them, leading to a transformative moment during a shared meal. Question 10. Who did the Lord Jesus drive out of the temple in Jerusalem? A. Pharisees. B. Publicans. C. Samaritans D. 
Money Changers. You get 10 seconds. That's D, Money Changers. Mark chapter 11, verses 15 to 16, and Matthew chapter 21, verses 12 to 13. Jesus enters the temple in Jerusalem and finds people buying and selling, turning the sacred space into a marketplace. Filled with righteous anger, he overturns tables and drives out those engaging in commercial activities. This event underscores Jesus' commitment to the sanctity of the temple and his authority to purify it from practices that detract from its sacred purpose. Question 11. What is the translation of the word Eloi? A. My Lord B. My Father C. My God D. Thou art holy You get 10 seconds. That's C, my God. Mark chapter 15, verse 34. It recorded that Jesus cried out, Eloi, Eloi, Lima Sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? This phrase, spoken in Aramaic, expresses Jesus' deep sense of abandonment and despair on the cross. It highlights his humanity and the extent of his suffering. Question 12. Who asked Pilate for the body of Jesus to bury him? A. John B. Caiaphas C. Joseph of Arimathea D. Mary You get 10 seconds. That's C, Joseph of Arimathea. Mark chapter 15, verses 42 to 46, and Matthew 27, verses 57 to 58. Joseph was a follower of Jesus and wanted to ensure that Jesus was laid to rest respectfully. His actions align with the fulfillment of prophecy and highlight the unexpected individuals who played crucial roles in the events surrounding Jesus' death and burial emphasizing themes of courage, compassion, and divine providence. Question 13. Who was the king when Jesus was born? A. Pilate B. Herod C. Caesar D. Agrippa You get 10 seconds. That's B, Herod, Matthew chapter 2, verse 1. This verse states that after Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem. This brief explanation confirms that King Herod was the king when Jesus was born. Question 14. Which judge of Israel defeated the Midianites with only 300 men? A, Samson. B. Jephthah C. Gideon D. Deborah You get 10 seconds. That's C. Gideon Judges chapter 7 verse 7 Gideon, with only 300 men, defeated the Midianites by following God's unconventional plan. The victory highlights the power of faith and divine intervention, illustrating that God can use the seemingly weak to overcome the strong. Question 15. Where did Jesus heal a widow's son? A. Name 
B. Nazareth C. Samaria D. Caesarea You get 10 seconds. That's A, Nain. Luke chapter 7, verses 11 to 15. This miracle is a poignant display of Jesus' compassion as he raises the widow's deceased son back to life, bringing profound joy and demonstrating his authority over death. The event in Nain showcases Jesus' ability to bring hope and restoration in moments of deep sorrow. Question 16. What is the name of the mother of the Lord Jesus Christ? A. Mary B. Ruth C. Martha D. Elizabeth You get 10 seconds. That's A, Mary. Matthew chapter 1, verses 16 to 18. These verses are foundational in the narrative of Jesus' birth, emphasizing the miraculous nature of his conception as it is attributed to the intervention of the Holy Spirit. Mary's role as the mother of Jesus is pivotal in Christian theology and the nativity story. Question 17. What did the Israelites eat during their journey in the wilderness? A. Mana B. Lamb C. Quail D. Fish You get 10 seconds. That's A. Mana Exodus Chapter 16. As the Israelites journeyed through the wilderness, they grumbled about the lack of food. In response, God provided manna to sustain them daily, emphasizing his provision and care for his people in challenging circumstances. Question 18. In which river was Jesus baptized by John? A. Pison. B. Nile. C. Euphrates. D. Jordan. You get 10 seconds. That's D. Jordan. Matthew chapter 3, verse 13. The Jordan River holds great significance in biblical history, and Jesus' baptism in this river was a pivotal moment in his life and ministry. By undergoing baptism, Jesus publicly affirmed his mission and identified with humanity, setting an example for his followers to follow. Question 19. Which men were seen with Jesus at his transfiguration? A. Abraham and Isaac B. Moses and Elijah C. Jacob and Joseph D. Abraham and Isaac You get 10 seconds. That's B. Moses and Elijah Luke chapter 9 verses 28 to 30 and Matthew chapter 17 verses 1 to 8. The transfiguration of Jesus is a pivotal event where his appearance is transformed, revealing his divine glory. In this moment, Moses and Elijah appeared with Jesus, symbolizing the connection between the law and the prophets in anticipation of the Messiah. The disciples Peter, James, and John were witnesses to this extraordinary manifestation. Question 20. Which disciples did Jesus call them Bonerges? A. Peter and James. 
B. Andrew and Thaddeus C. Philip and Thomas D. James and John You get 10 seconds. That's D, James and John. Mark, chapter 3, verse 17. The term Boanerges is Aramaic, and it means sons of thunder. It likely reflects their fiery and zealous personalities, and the nickname may suggest their fervent and energetic approach to spreading the message of Jesus, embodying a spirit of enthusiasm and zeal in their discipleship. Question 21. How old was Jesus when he was found in the temple with the doctors of the law? A. Five years. B. Seven years. C. Nine years. D. Twelve years. You get ten seconds. That's D, 12 years. Luke, chapter 2, verses 39 to 47. Jesus' parents had gone to Jerusalem for the Passover festival. When they left to return home, they discovered that Jesus was not with them. After searching, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening and asking questions. This event highlights Jesus' early wisdom and understanding of Scripture. Question 22. Whose effigy was on the tribute they presented to Jesus? A. Herod B. Caesar C. Pilate D. Caiaphas You get 10 seconds. That's B, Caesar. Matthew chapter 22, verses 19 to 21. The Pharisees attempted to entrap Jesus by presenting a coin with Caesar's image and asking about paying taxes. Jesus, recognizing their malicious intent, wisely responded, render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's and to God the things that are God's. It underscores the balance between civic responsibility and devotion to God. Question 23. What animals did Jesus allow the demons that were in the Gadarenes to enter? A. Pigs B. Goats C. Camels D. Serpents You get 10 seconds. That's A, pigs. Matthew, chapter 8, verses 28 to 34, and Mark, chapter 5, verses 1 to 20. Jesus encounters a man possessed by demons who refers to himself as legion. Jesus casts out the demons and allows them to enter a herd of pigs, which then rush into the nearby lake and drown. This incident demonstrates Jesus' authority over evil spirits. Question 24. With how many loaves and fishes did Jesus feed almost 5,000 men? A. Three loaves and three fish. B. Three loaves and five fish. C. Five loaves and two fish. D. Five loaves and three fish. You get 10 seconds. That's C, five loaves and two fish. Luke chapter 9 verses 13 to 16 and Matthew chapter 14 verse 17. This miracle demonstrates his power to abundantly provide for our needs and the importance of offering what little we have in faith. 
Question 25. Which prophet was known for his vision of a valley of dry bones coming to life? A. Isaiah B. Jeremiah C. Ezekiel D. Daniel You get 10 seconds. That's C, Ezekiel. Ezekiel, chapter 37, verses 1 to 10. The prophet Ezekiel is transported in a vision to a valley full of dry bones, symbolizing the exiled and spiritually dead house of Israel. God instructs Ezekiel to prophesy over the bones, and as he does, the bones come together, sinews and flesh cover them, and breath is breathed into them, signifying God's promise to restore Israel to life. Oh wow, what an incredible journey through the scriptures, challenging your knowledge of the Bible. How did you fare? Whether you aced the quiz or discovered something new, always remember that the Word of God is a boundless source of wonder just waiting for us to explore. If you enjoyed this quiz, please give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Let's invite them to embark on this biblical adventure as well. And don't forget to click that subscribe button for more quizzes and profound biblical insights. We highly value your feedback, so please share your score, any questions or suggestions for future quizzes in the comments. Together, we can continue to deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you be blessed on your spiritual journey. Thank you and see you in the next video.